Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So you saw the title. This video has been a long time coming because being the pessimist that I am, I wanted to make sure that everything is set in stone and there were hopefully, like, fingers crossed, no speed bumps ahead of me before I share this live update. But now everything is finalized and I feel ready to share it with you that I'm moving to another country and to another city, which is like one a dream city of mine. So I think I gave you three clues or like three options in terms of where I might be heading. So um, if you please, I know a lot of people do that with like handbag unboxing or reveals. If you please head into the comments and type in or like cast your vote in terms of where you think I might be moving. Paris, London or New York City. Head down there and while you do, I'm going to like briefly talk you through the layout. I, th I I tried to structure this video somewhat, so fingers crossed I won't get into like rambly bits, but uh, I can't guarantee that. But anyway, so cast your votes down below and I'm going to tell you that I will reveal where I'm headed uh, in a couple of seconds if you promise me that you won't click out of this video like immediately afterwards. And afterwards I'm going to briefly talk about how this like life change uh, impacts or like uh, yeah will play into my YouTube channel. So are you done? Cast your votes. Three, two, one. I'm moving to London. <laughs> um, it feels so surreal to say that but yeah I'm moving to London as of July 2023 which is in like a couple of weeks. I it's like can't put into words how excited I am. So right off the bat I'm going to London with work and I'm extremely appreciative to my employer that they made this happen because moving to London is such an insane opportunity and yeah it still blows my mind that I will be able to call London my home in a couple of weeks. Talking about home me moving to London won't be a permanent thing. I will stay in London until the end of this year. So six months and I will be able to take advantage of like summer in London, going into fall. And of course this year I will be there the entirety of November and December and uh, experience all the Christmas magic. So such an insane opportunity. I'm super grateful that um, this is actually happening. And yeah, so only six months, but I think six months or so half a year is plenty of time to like experience the city and get situated there and I have every intention to make the most out of it. So yeah, this is my life update. I'm extremely excited. If you want, update your comments or like comment under your comment to tell me if you were right or wrong. I mean Paris is beautiful as well but my French isn't uh, where I would want it to be in order for me to actually live there. I mean yes, you, you're you definitely able to get around with English but going with work Paris wasn't even an option. And of course, at least as of now, I think because I did go to New York a couple of times already whereas London I only went last year and then before that I think like a decade ago. As of now I'd say New York is still my favorite city. Uh, my vacation that I took last year in May and June was I, I can't put into words how much joy I felt but I mean now that I will be spending a lot of time in London I I do see a chance that London might take over New York. But anyway, so I'm moving to London, extremely excited. I don't even want to count how many times I say excited. So probably don't do a drinking game, all of that, because you will be lying on the floor at the end of this video. But anyway, so really happy. And yeah, as I said, talking about what this life change means for my YouTube channel. So you might have noticed over the last like one and a half months, I did try. Okay, so. One step back. My baseline upload schedule is every Wednesday where I talk about all things luxury, in particular handbags. By the way, if you're new here, hi, um, my name is Leslie. This is what I usually talk about. So handbags, unboxings, reviews, shopping vlogs, travel vlogs from time to time, some high street fashion in there. But yeah, chances are most of the people that watch this video probably know me because why would you click on a moving announcement of someone you don't know but anyway if you haven't subscribed yet I would really love for you to subscribe but I digress. So the Wednesday uploads will stay the same. I'm gonna try to stick to that upload schedule. The first couple of weeks might be a little all over the place for me to like get situated and on and everything but um, I'm trying to stick to my Wednesday uploads but over the last one and a half months I also threw in an additional Sunday upload. Usually those were vlogs and that's also what I'm planning to go ahead with. So 
I try to get into like day-to-day -day, like regular vlogging over the last couple of weeks or months. Uh, didn't go overly well but I just wanted to get used to like just whipping out my camera. I'm, I mean I'm filming on my phone so whipping out my phone and just uh, yeah talking into the camera while I'm out and about. Also for that purpose I haven't tried that like out and about yet but I purchased um, these like wireless microphones. So when I'm filming sit-down videos I have this like um, I think it's called lavalier microphone, no idea how you would pronounce that in English, but like basically a clip-on microphone on a cord, but walking around with your camera or like with your phone in public with uh, a cord attached looks a little weird. So I have these, so you attach one bit on the bottom of the phone, which is like the Bluetooth adapter down here. And then you have, for whatever reason, I don't know, probably mistake on my end why I end up purchasing one with two microphones, but you have two clip-on microphones with a little like, um, I guess, wind uh, catcher on these like called dead cat or something. Usually like the actual dead cats that are like for more professional filming or like high level filming. I mean, I paid like 50 bucks for these. I didn't want to go crazy, but yeah, usually these dead cats are a lot bigger, but these like tiny um, foamy bits should take away some of the wind and like background noise and everything. So this is one of the items that I um, purchased to basically help me get more comfortable with filming in public because for instance, my London vlog last year and also my Paris vlogs this year, Wind is something that really bothers me in the audio and I am able to take away some like background noise in the editing process but that usually also means that some of the I guess volume of my actual voice uh, gets lost uh, as well because yeah the I, I edit with DaVinci Resolve by the way and the noise cancelling or like the background noise deleter reducer situation isn't like perfect so I'm not overly happy with the result of the background noise cancellation in the editing process so I'm gonna try to improve the like uh, raw audio that I will be feeding into the um, editing to just give you the most pleasant uh, audio experience that I'm able to provide. So yeah that's at least the plan. So Wednesday uploads will be like luxury or like my usual content. Also shopping vlogs in London because I mean why not? I'm in London, there's Harrods, there's Selfridges, a couple of like Louis Vuitton boutiques, Chanel, they probably won't allow you to film but anyway I'm definitely planning to film a lot. Also I'm planning to go to Bista Village. I did research the train tickets and they are super expensive for whatever reason so I haven't booked anything yet but I'm definitely planning to go at least once in these six months that I'm there. So yeah really excited about everything that's ahead but in saying that of course as I mentioned I'm going with work so that's of course the top priority first and foremost because I'm going with work but on the weekends that I don't have to work and yeah in between or like my way to the office or like lunch breaks and everything I'm planning to take you along with me but don't hold me accountable to the Wednesday and Sunday upload schedule too much. I'm trying to stick to it but I can't promise that there will be a Sunday upload every week because also some weeks um, I probably won't end up doing anything that's worth capturing I guess or like uh, documenting. Talking about documenting I'm well aware that the vlogs that I'm planning to film like my day-to-day -day vlogs in London of me like basically documenting my expat life probably won't get as many views as my like core luxury content which I'm perfectly fine with because of course I'm filming these vlogs for your entertainment but also for me to be able to look back at them in like 10 years, 20 years and basically relive my experiences and memories in London. Of course I'm going to take pictures and everything but having actual video footage of um, yeah memories and times in my life is really valuable so also selfishly the vlogs will <laughs> also be for me. Anyway <laughs> I mentioned that I was uh, kind of hoping to have a structure in this video but I mean considering the topic and my excitement you'll have to forgive me for um yeah this video having turned into somewhat of a rambly mess but mm, yeah <laughs> i'm moving to london i'm actually going before july because like i think the first of july is a sunday if i'm not mistaken so my first day in the office in london will be on monday the second of july but i will actually be flying into london like a week in advance so i have a couple of days that 
basically feel like a vacation in London and I'm definitely going to use them to like explore the city. I do have some fun activities uh, booked already. Some walking tours. I think one of them is like the secrets of Belgravia and another one is like a walking tour around Covent Garden. So yeah, I mean, London is full of insane and rich history. So I'm really excited about that. Also, I booked a candlelight string quartet um, thing with Taylor Swift music, which is so cool as well. And also two concerts like later in the year. But yeah, I'm definitely, as you might be able to tell, I'm planning to make the most of my time in London whenever I'm not working. But yeah, this is my life update. Oh, another thing. Um, I wanted to mention I do have some videos pre-filmed like at home behind this backdrop which chances are at least that's my intention I'm not going to post them in the next couple of weeks but I'm going to basically save them for a rainy day essentially if I have a really busy week or a couple of weeks uh, working in London then I have like some videos to fall back on so don't be confused um, if I happen to upload videos behind this backdrop in like August or something like that but um, yeah this is my live update let me know what you think I can't put into words how excited I am I also hope you're looking forward to following along and yeah discovering London from the view of an expat also if you're located in London I did talk to a couple of you um, on Instagram already and I like to, uh, dropped some hints that I might be uh, moving to London for a bit so yeah I would love to catch up like meet for drinks or like coffee um, or like shopping dates I guess so thank you so much for watching um, give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing also follow me on Instagram because chances are I will be spamming um, okay I'm trying to not spam you with stories from London but I will uh, you'll definitely see an increase of stories compared to yeah when I'm not in London so yeah follow me along because I will be able to share a lot more in real time there and I'm just beyond excited so mm, <laughs> I'm moving to London okay before I um, gush anymore and embarrass myself thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next video <laughs> bye